A little caveat before I begin, please do not take this as medical advice or replacement for treatment from a doctor or a dermatologist. If you have a skin lesion or mole that you suspect to be malignant or cancerous, go to them and get their opinion and their treatment first. This is only for advice purposes only and only if you have decided that you want to remove normal moles on your own at home with iodine. I decided to make this video because I want to help people, <laughs> essentially. I um, have always had moles. I'm sure you've always had some moles. And recently, um, I had one on my back that kind of got itchy. It might be because my bra strap or my purse strap kept irritating it, but it started to trouble me in ways it hadn't troubled me before. So I did some research on the internet and discovered that you can use iodine solution to remove moles. And this isn't, I don't think, very commonly known. So I was a little bit skeptical. So I procured some iodine. And um, unfortunately, in the United States, this isn't readily available over the counter because it can be used, I think, in the production of meth. Um, but at least in Canada and in Europe, it should be widely available. There are various types of iodine you can get over the counter. There's iodine solution, there's tincture of iodine, and there's Lugol's iodine. So what Lugol's iodine is, is it just doesn't contain any um, ethanol alcohol in it. So apparently, and, and again, do your research, don't just listen to me, but Lugol's is one of the types that if, say, you were to purify your drinking water with like five drops in two liters of water while you're camping, it would kill all the bacteria so you could drink it. But I believe that there's a safer type of iodine for that, which is iodide. And that would be sold in camping stores. But this stuff um, is actually toxic. And you should never, ever, ever, ever drink it. I did research and it would take about 30 milliliters of this stuff. So actually slightly more that, than is contained in this container to, to kill someone. Plus you've got the ethanol, which you should not be drinking. Um, but, uh, so yes, it actually says, if you look really closely, it says poison. Can you see that? Poison. So no drinking this stuff. Do not get it on your tongue. But you can put it on your skin because only a fraction of the iodine that's contained in this is absorbed into your skin. And iodine is actually essential for our bodies. Most people don't realize that. Women whose diets are higher in naturally occurring iodine show a decreased incidence of breast cancer. That is why Japanese populations, they think, uh, show less uh, of uh, uh, less incidence of breast cancer per capita because they eat a lot of seaweed, which is a natural um, source of iodine. So all that to say, to get to the point with the moles, I have been treating this mole on my arm for a week. Now you're like, well, that doesn't look like a mole. That looks like a flesh wound. Basically. Um, I just twice a day have been dropping this stuff on my arm. So let's just kind of bring this down here. So where I had the mole, and this is actually, oops, this is actually an old one, so it's quite flat. Um, I just get out my little dropper, drop a drop on, put on a band-aid, and then repeat the process at night. And you can see after a week, today in the bathtub, it started to peel off. I rubbed it just with my finger. I wasn't scratching it. Some sites will suggest that you actually injure your mole with a needle, like a fine um, sterilized needle before you begin because it'll hasten the absorption of the iodine. But uh, from what I can tell so far, you don't even need to do that if you're using 5% iodine solution. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. So let's just do this. I very carefully open, here's my Band-Aid. I open my iodine. And this is going to sting like hell because now it's more irritated. I put a drop right in the center. Oh, fuck! It doesn't normally burn when it's not open. Holy shit, that burns. Um, so, so basically, um, they think that the reason this works is, is iodine will irritate your skin surface. So it will cause it to peel off um, over a period of it would seem just a week is enough to get it to start to peel. But because iodine, for some reason, targets cancer cells, any abnormal cells are going to be the first to go. So basically, I'm just going to have to repeat this for probably 
Um, I think the most prudent thing would be to say four to six weeks. They say uh, on some sites that it needs to crust over three times, so it needs to peel off three times and then you're in the clear. Um, but I mean, I would think even if I were to have stopped now, a lot of the original mole is just, it's gone. It has been burnt off. So I will provide an update to this video in a couple of weeks. Um, it's not burning anymore, but I'm going to add one more drop. Probably scream some more. <laughs> Ooh, it burns. It burns. And it's not intolerable. It's just kind of like a, it, just, it feels like it's burning. Um, and I wouldn't recommend treating more than like say three moles at once just in case you're worried about how much your skin absorbs of this because um, uh, your skin will absorb a certain amount um, of the iodine and it will be uptake, uh, it will be taken up by your system. But most of us are a little bit deficient in iodine. Not totally deficient because salt is iodized, um, so it, it won't hurt you, but I wouldn't recommend painting this all over your body. So yeah, if you have moles, you can treat them with iodine. And this was f less than $5. Um, and I think in the States, you may just have to get a prescription for it or ask the pharmacist. So good luck. You can treat skin lesions, moles, not all lesions, but skin, <laughs> moles, with iodine. I hope it helped someone.